Do I want to? Where are these? I don't. I don't know. <laughs> what do you think? Yes? No? Don't care? Don't care. Good, good choice. You know what? They're kind of uncomfortable. We just won't do that. Okay. <laughs> uh, I am excited. Aren't you? Okay, stupid question, I know. But, like, yeah. <laughs> I don't think you're fully comprehending how amazing this is. <laughs> no, you're not. I have to take my little sister trick-or-treating every year because um, my mom and dad always have this work party at his boss's house, I want to say. And uh, it's boring. Like, I love my sister and I love her little friends and all their cute little costumes and their little energy bursts, especially when the candy kicks in because I let them eat what they want. But going by myself, like, none of my friends ever want to go because why would they when there's a party going on that they could be at? And I get it. But, like, not only do I not have to go alone this year, but I get to go with you, which, in case you can't see the, like, massive grin on my face um I'm pretty happy about that so yes it's awesome <laughs> I don't know if you're gonna enjoy it but I mean mm. definite brownie points for that <laughs> you'll enjoy it because you're with me oh so sweet <laughs> Okay, before I get the giggles and this goes completely sideways and I can't function enough to be responsible for children, um, <laughs> we should figure out our game plan. Yes, with this many children, you need a game plan. There are six of them and two of us. So, yep. And like I said, the energy is insane. <laughs> well... Okay, so what I usually do is I kind of let them run a little bit ahead where I can see them, but not, you know, not so much that I don't have the ability to run up and grab somebody if I need to or like intervene if there's a problem. Um, when they're at a house, I'm usually at the sidewalk of said house and then they come down, I let them run a little bit toward the next house and then I go. So it's, it's kind of a timed thing, I guess. Yeah, yeah. It it takes some precision. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, I mean we're just going around the neighborhood here, so I know most of the neighbors. I think there's only like two or three that I'm not really familiar with, so it's not bad. But you never know. I mean, last year we ran into it wasn't a problem, but it wasn't a fun situation either. We ran into just like the bully kids that steal everybody's candy, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah, I almost had to lay this smack down on a 15-year-old, but <laughs> he learned and walked away, so. <laughs> Ugh, don't even, don't even, I, no. Uh, by lay the smack down, I threatened to call his mom. And then I felt really old, because, uh. <laughs> yes, well, we won't talk about that, but anyway. Mm-hmm. So that's that's like the main thing that we look out for. Every now and then you get a kid that's like afraid of the costumes. I had that one year too. So you never know. Um, hopefully we won't have any kid that makes themselves sick on their candy. I did have that two years ago, three years ago. I don't think she hangs out with that kid anymore, but that kid was like, I don't think there was candy in the bag. I think everything that they were handed, they ate as they came out of the houses. So by like the end of the first block, that kid was like green. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it is a process. It is a process. Yes. Taking children trick or treating is a process. Mm -hmm. At least she doesn't like insist that I dress up anymore. Oh yeah. When I was a teenager, I was apparently expected to wear a costume and like humor her. Uh -huh. Well, to be fair, she was like four, but 
<laughs> well, part of me is kind of sad because this is going to be one of the last years that I take her around. I mean, she's getting old enough that she'll be going by herself probably next year, if not the year after, with her friends, and then she won't be going at all. So, you know, I'm kind of kind of enjoying it while I can. As much as I complain about it, I I do love doing this with her. So, and this year, I get to do it with you too. I know it's it's kind of lame spending our first Halloween together taking my sister trick or treating, but it's not. Really? <laughs> Thank you. Just when I think you can't get any sweeter, there you go. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it too. <laughs> mm. Mm. Okay, you better not do that again or we won't go anywhere because I could just sit here and do that all day. Um, okay. What time is it? Oh, crap. Okay. Uh, we have to go. We have to get her little butt going, because if we don't, ugh, chaos ensues. So, are you ready? All right, let's do this. Don't go too far ahead. <laughs> yep, that's fine. I can see you. Mm. I swear, if we could bottle their energy and sell it, oh, the world would be in trouble. Nobody would ever sleep, I'm pretty sure. It would be the best energy drink known to man. <laughs> it is nice out here. Yeah. It's actually not really cold, which is nice. I mean, we've had snow some years. <laughs> mm. Are you bored yet? <laughs> well, thank you. Mm. No, you want to cuddle me in? I'll cuddle in. I'm good with that. <laughs> is that what makes it not boring? Yeah. <laughs> well, they are cute, yes. Um, the potential for drama when two of them came in the same costume was a little iffy, but, you know, I mean, we can always use more Wonder Women in the world, so. <laughs> uh-huh. I know, adorable, right? Ugh, I love them. Well, when my... <laughs> When my sister said she wanted to be Janice Joplin this year, I cried. Like, the kid is amazing. Yeah, I've been sort of introducing her to music that is not on TikTok <laughs> this year. Mm-hmm. And she just gravitated toward it. And that's what she came up with. She wanted to be Janice Joplin. My parents weren't thrilled, to be honest, but, you know. Thank you. Okay, go to the next. We'll follow. <laughs> yeah, they weren't thrilled, but... I mean, what are they going to do? It's a it's Halloween costume, right? <laughs> They're okay with her going as a serial killer last year. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. But, you know, this year, don't go as the musician with, you know, potential substance abuse issues. Good lord. But isn't she cute? I know. And can we just talk about the kid that literally phoned it in and yet is the cutest thing in the Sully from Monsters, Inc. onesie that I'm pretty sure is just pajamas, but is adorable and so perfect. Uh-huh. Loving it. Loving it. And that kid is warm. The two in the Wonder Women costumes, I'm wondering when they're going to tap out because it's it's getting chilly and they don't look all that comfortable. <laughs> oh, they're so sweet. 
Yes. They remember their manners, their pleases, and their thank yous, and their trick-or-treats. And, you know, there's a lot of people on this street that are older, um, a lot of retired people, a lot of seniors, and they just light up when they see the kids come to the door. Look. Look. <laughs> thank you. Mm. Yeah, keep going. <laughs> oh, is that a full-size one? Oh, lucky. Better go to the next one before that other group gets there. Go. Yeah, she's just so sweet. But did you see the lady's face at the door? She's still watching them. People say Christmas is the most magical time, and I disagree. There's something about Halloween. I think because there's no pressure to give like presents and stuff, it's just fun. It's just about the spirit of the season. It's like, we're all doing the same thing. You don't have to worry about the, the consumerism of it, you know? And these kids are hella cute. <laughs> but yeah, I like watching the faces of the people that give them candy because they're they're just so enamored with them. There's actually a gentleman at the end of the street that you'll see. Normally, he is the crankiest person. Like, he's the get off my lawn type. Literally will yell at you if you walk on his grass. But when the kids come for Halloween, they trample his grass. They go up through his garden. Like, kids, unfortunately, don't always care, especially when they're excited. Um, but he doesn't care. He, he stands on his porch with his great big bowl of candy and he just laughs and he lights up and he gives them candy and he asks about their costumes and it's like such a different person than the rest of the time. It's so sweet. So you'll see, you'll see. We're going to get down there shortly, so. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I know, I geek out over this stuff, but like I said, I'm not going to get to take her very much longer. So. Oh. Um, what's happening down there? <laughs> You're distracting me. I have to pay attention. I'm supposed to be the responsible adult here. <laughs> All right, we should go see what they're doing. Because I think they sort of merged into that big group over there. Yep. It's time to go and <laughs> be the adult for a minute. You down with that? <laughs> okay. Let's go. <sighs> I didn't think she would ever go to sleep. I don't think she's sleeping. I think she's faking it so I would leave, but she's in bed anyway. That's that's more than I expected this soon. The candy high is intense. <laughs> mm. How are you? Are you good? You've been amazing this whole night. Like just I know it's a lot. I know it's overwhelming and you've been just incredible and I'm sorry it's been so chaotic and oh. mm. <laughs> mm. <sighs> thank you I needed that <laughs> yeah it was fun it was fun I agree and you know it's the first year I did not come home absolutely frozen because Somebody kept me warm, which was nice. <laughs> mm. Oh, uh, yeah. Here, let me just... Uh. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Perfect. Mm. Oh, yeah. 
I do appreciate you going with me. I was a little sad thinking that we might not get to spend tonight together. I mean, when my parents get home shortly, we can always go to that party, but it's not quite the same, you know? <laughs> Again, with the sweetest thing you could have said. <sighs> I'm gonna get used to that, you know? Actually, no, I don't think I ever will. <laughs> How sweet you can be. <laughs> you literally ran around after my little sister tonight. And didn't have any issue with it. You looked like you were enjoying yourself. I hope you were. Good. Mm. We can go to that party after mom and dad get back if you want to. Or we can head back to my place. I think my roommate's out for the night. And we can watch movies and just enjoy the night together. <laughs> I know, it's so boring. It's not. Well, I'm never bored with you either. In fact, I think I would rather just spend time with you than do anything else. Halloween or not. It's just kind of a, a thing, you know? <laughs> mm. Thank you. I know, I know I already thanked you for going with me, but thank you for being you. I think part of the reason it was so fun is because you are you. Because you just wholeheartedly embraced the madness <laughs> that is my little sister and her friends. And you did so willingly without question for me and that is pretty spectacular you are pretty spectacular I'm feeling very lucky right now which is saying something because I feel pretty lucky most of the time <laughs> well, I'm glad that goes both ways Okay, so she's going to come down for her first bathroom break in about five minutes. Mm-hmm. Oh, brace yourself. Um, <laughs> especially with the candy high. She will, she will stall as much as she can. So let's throw on the TV and just <laughs> anticipate her so that I can deal with it, okay? <laughs> no, I'll deal with her, but thank you. <laughs> Best Halloween ever. I, I think that's apt. There were no tricks this year, which I usually look forward to, but <laughs> I think it's safe to say I got the best treat. <laughs> 